Rocky and Bullwinkle are trying to make some coin. Sorry, Harshi, I used your slang term there for them. Ayab Kasim and Rocky, whatever his surname is, whatever his real name is, because on the street, we don't give out our real names and we book things in different names. And if we've got five middle names, we use the five middle names instead of the... Oh, I shouldn't do that. It's kind of uh, would deem to seem a bit racist. Can't do accents now, can we? Rocky's pretty quiet because Ahab won't let him speak. And they kind of drop themselves in it when they do speak. So maybe that's a good thing. But they're criticising everybody else and all the media for using his picture... Ayab wants some money because he says that the media, the Mail Online, the Sun, etc. are all making money from his picture. And he's criticising them for making money, but then he wants to make money off of uh, good-hearted people who just want to um, ask some questions. So he is latching on to, what is it called? Telegraph or Telegram? Telegraph? Uh, some site that you've got to be vetted, but you've got to pay. Um, is it a subscription you've got to pay or a one-off? I don't know. But he wants to get them into Bitcoin, which has nothing to do with this situation or case or sad disappearance of a 19-year-old. Now let's deviate a little bit into Bitcoin. So Bitcoin. Luckily, I didn't lose any money off of Bitcoin, but I didn't gain any because it was popular at the time. Now, I'm not saying it's really bad because I think people can make money. I'm not so sure how Bitcoin works, but certainly invest in, they can make money and they're very clever, but you've really, really got to be on it all the time. You've got to know what you're doing and be on it for that period and not hold on to whatever you've purchased. So you've got to buy and sell, buy and sell. And you can make some big money from it. But you can also lose an awful lot of money. A lot of people, after the initial um, hike and everybody made money in Bitcoin, you could lose thousands. If you've got millions, you could lose millions. So forth. Good luck if, if, you, if you want to do that and you believe in that. But uh, what's wrong with social media and just people... That are asking questions now on his TikTok, he has, I believe, uh, 15,000 and counting. So, once you're over 10,000, you get a coin and you make the coin via views. So, he would be making a coin anyway that way, but uh, anyway, as we hear, all his colleagues like the property scams and we're trying to get somebody's name removed from the weed cafe in Tenerife and that was pot of paper was it his mate it was Lucy whether he was involved I don't know but he seems to like the scams maybe he's gone from the drugs because he said he was only 19 when he was trying to introduce heavy drugs into Cardiff said he was 19 maybe he's learned from that so maybe he's going on to the scams who knows well we kind of know but we don't know but it's very suspicious behavior oh and uh hey yeah if you're listening let rocky speak a bit more but the bitcoin well i don't know apparently we're going to hear from brandon but if you did have a bruise from a punch on his face, it's going to be healed up. So I guess he's clear now. And I visualize him being quite a nice lad. Probably very quiet. Maybe the strong, silent type. Maybe you wouldn't want to upset him. So it'd be interesting to hear from Brandon. But I'm not paying a, a website and uh, going into the Bitcoin business again and invest in thank you and we haven't heard from lucy at all it would be nice to hear from lucy everybody is quite willing to have her on one of their lives or if she wants to do a live or whatever and we can 
perhaps pick up something that she might be talking about and perhaps she might be able to eliminate herself from suspicion. We haven't heard from Brad. We heard from him and we kind of looked at the way he was talking and he looked a bit suspicious and he wasn't kind of interested. I don't know if these people were friends or whether it's just a youngster thing, but they didn't seem to be heavily upset, did they? Certainly Ahab, as he said, oh, the guy had two knives, speaking as the guy had two knives or a knife when he left the Airbnb. He didn't say, oh, <clears throat> My mate had two knives or my friend. It wasn't like he was a friend friend. Another thing that I found uh, hard to get my head around was they weren't involved with this NRG festival. And he said himself, he wasn't there the fateful night. He was at, uh, was it Big Nasty's Cafe and somewhere else, Cafe Club and enjoying himself there with Rocky. So how did he meet and take home Jay? Jay walks out onto the prom from the nightclub. Everyone's left him. Well, they've said, are you all right? Yeah, no, I want to stay on, I'm going to dance on the prom. They're dancing on his own or looking a bit down and then walking out the big nasty cafe to go and get a kebab or whatever. Um, they see Jay standing on the prom looking down or he's dancing away. I want to keep going. Hey, what's where, where is everyone? Hey, um, Jay. So he's an acquaintance, so Ayab knows him. Oh, they've all gone home, but I want to keep going. And I've lost my key, but uh, I'm not bothered about that. The fact that you could go back to where you were and get your key off of one of the others or something, and you're staying with Lucy, I presume, so there'd be a key there. He wants to keep on grooving, and he's, he's ready for it. He's up for it. So they say to him, oh, you better get back, though, wouldn't you? We're going now. And then... Jay says, can I come? Can I come with you? Can I come with you? We don't know whether Brandon is with him, but we're gathering he's on his own dance and he's, he's away. He's not with Brad having a laugh. He's on his own. He's somebody that likes to leave the club at half past four, five a.m. in the morning and he's happy just sat there waiting for something to happen on his own or chatting to himself and using himself. But he must know that there's no party because they arrived took him half an hour and he said he arrived there was it 6 36 40 a.m so he must have left at rocket science maths is 6 10 6 a.m or 6 10 although it was said he stopped off at church before then so it might have been 5 a.m at the prom and they went up there now this airbnb is just deadly so they were there for about an hour hour and a half so they give him a blanket to this blanket they said it was there so they gave him this blanket and he was on the sofa sleeping but he didn't want to sleep the other two were sleeping the rest has already been discussed what do we think Another thing, something that I've heard and I want clarification on, and it is easier to ask everybody else, because they normally pinpoint the right person who knows, and that is, was Potter PayPal in Tenerife from the 15th to the 17th? Also, Big Nasty, was he there at the same time and was hanging out with Potter PayPal? Because I've heard this and... Don't know if it's all hearsay or made up. So it would be nice to find out. So if any of the followers of these two icons could um, shed light on that, look at their social media of where they were 
they were doing some sort of promotion i believe so it's hard to believe if they were that ahab wouldn't be involved or following or going to as a as a punter to these promotions festivals or whatever it was anyway thank you very much indeed for watching and remember don't strain too much thank you